Welcome to this demonstration on the Cockpit experience available in SAP Business One. The Cockpit can be easily customized per user to allow a simplified and more efficient user experience. This demonstration will cover the following topics. The Cockpit, enabling it at a company level and a user level, and the standard Cockpit widgets available. Common functions, open documents, messages and alerts, the KPI widget, and dashboards. Let's activate the SAP Business One Cockpit at a company level. By navigating to Administration, System Initialization, General Settings, you will notice we have a Cockpit tab. Here you can select which Cockpit to activate. This Cockpit view will only be available after the next logon into SAP Business One. To enable the Cockpit at user level, navigate to Tools, Cockpit and enable my cockpit. Let us now re-log into SAP Business One via the administration Choose Company. Upon logging in, you will notice that my new cockpit view is enabled. I have several predefined roles available in the cockpit view, and these roles can be selected to populate the cockpit with widgets that are appropriate for the specific roles in question. Let's select back to home to discuss each widget available within the cockpit. Each widget can be dragged and dropped within the canvas of the cockpit and positioned appropriately. The common functions widget is a great widget that can be used to simplify your daily business life. It allows you to drag and drop any SAP Business One form, function or report within the widget, including those that are created by complementary solutions. Let's have a look. With the common functions in place, I can now select those forms and functions and reports and drag and drop them into this widget. The common functions that have now been dragged into the common functions widget can easily be accessed via the hyperlink available within this widget. As you can see, clicking on each of these hyperlinks will open up the appropriate form, function or report. The Open Documents widget is a widget that can be used to display the relevant open documents that pertain to your business functional area. The document types can be accessed via the Widget Options menu represented by the Spanner or the Wrench icon. Selecting the Settings option will display the list of all the available document types that you can display as part of the Open Documents widget. Again, the document types will be displayed as a hyperlink within the Open Documents widget for you to be able to click on and display the detail. To avoid the messages and alerts window from popping up, the messages and alerts widget can be embedded within the dashboard canvas to display all these messages and alerts instantly. The KPI widget can be used to display one or more of the 42 predefined key performance indicators available within SAP Business One. User-defined key performance indicators can also be created via Pervasive Analytics and embedded within the same widget. Clicking on Settings, we can now define a widget title and select the predefined or user-defined KPIs that apply to the specific widget title. Let me select three inventory-specific KPIs and by clicking on OK, you can see that I've embedded three KPIs within the same widget. Let's add in one more KPI, relevant to the Inventory KPI widget, just to display four in this specific widget. The Dashboards widget allows me to expose the 21 predefined dashboards available within SAP Business One. These out-of-the-box dashboards were created with Crystal Dashboard Designer or Pervasive Analytics. Any user-defined dashboards created within Pervasive Analytics can also be exposed within this widget, as well as those licensed via the Crystal Dashboard Designer. Again, by clicking on Settings, I can now select all the predefined and user-defined dashboards available to be exposed within this dashboard widget. 
multiple dashboards can be selected within the same widget. By clicking OK, you will now be able to view all the dashboards that you have selected to be exposed within this widget. These can be selected by browsing with the arrow icons within the same widget. Let's have a look at the Fiori style cockpit widgets. Again available are dashboards and the KPIs widget. New widgets include the business object count, workbench and the my recent updates widget. SAP Fiori is the new user experience for SAP software based on SAP UI5. This allows for sleek and light HTML5 user interfaces. All the widgets available for this cockpit can be accessed via the plus icon in the center of the canvas. This will display all the widgets available with the ability to filter on each widget type. The dashboard widget and key performance indicator widget allows for the same predefined and custom analytics as before. The business object count widget is very similar to the open documents widget mentioned before. Several predefined setups allow this widget to be used to display the count of certain criteria such as open documents. What makes this widget more advanced than the Open Documents widget is its ability to display a business object count based on an underlying custom user query as well. The business object will simply count the number of results of the underlying query and summarize it within this widget. Such as this one. Select the following records where my group code is equal to 102 or large accounts. So how many large account customers do I have? By navigating to Tools, Cockpit, Count Widget Setup, I can use this underlying query to create a new count widget. Here you can see I've given it a basic code, a name, and linked my query to this specific count widget. This will then be available within the widget gallery under the business object count. By selecting this widget and moving back into my cockpit, I can view the specific business object count widget within my cockpit. By saving the current cockpit view, I am now able to interact with my business object count widget. In this case, clicking on the object count, I am able to view the details of the underlying query. The workbench is a new widget available within the Fiori style cockpit. Similar to the common functions widget, it not only allows for common functions to be accessed according to a functional role within the business, but it also displays the best practice process flow for each of the functional areas, including purchasing, sales, stock management, and finance. If we select the sales process workbench as an example, we can see a great visualization of the best practice sales process depicted within the Business One cockpit. Each of these icons within the process can be clicked on to open up the corresponding Business One document for processing. Not only are these functions accessible from within the workbench, but we can also access many of the reports and forms pertaining to the specific functional area represented in the workbench. Finally, the My Recent Update widget allows me to track all additions and changes that I've made to the SAP Business One company. This includes the creation of master data, marketing documents, etc. Again, this widget does not only track all the additions and changes, but also allows me to quickly call up the recent updates and changes via the hyperlink it creates. To view this widget in action, let's create a business partner master data record. Let's add in the code. and the customer name and add. We can now refresh the entire cockpit to view any new recent updates. Here you can see my cash account has been added to the recent updates and clicking on the hyperlink will take me to the newly created business partner master data record. The dashboard widget and the key performance indicator widget is very similar than before. Here I can immediately start selecting 
all the predefined and user-defined dashboards, as well as many of the predefined and user-defined key performance indicators. Once they are selected, I can move back to my cockpit view to get a preview of the underlying cockpit. If I'm satisfied with the placement of the cockpit widgets, I can click on the Save button to save the cockpit view. To remove certain widgets from the cockpit, click on the Edit Cockpit icon and simply drag the widgets into the bottom right-hand corner of the trash can icon. This just shows you that with the SAP Business One cockpits available, simplicity and user efficiency is a click away.